Now let us know about the nervous system. The nervous system comprises of the brain, the spinal cord and networks of nerves which are spread throughout our body. Well, the nervous system is responsible for sending and receiving signals which are called the impulses. Just like the electricity which is carried through the wire that connects the switch and the bulb, the nervous system also carries electric impulses throughout the body. The main function of nervous system lies in controlling and coordinating different movements in the body including the voluntary and involuntary activities. Well, by the way, do you know what are involuntary and voluntary activities are? Firstly, the voluntary activities. Voluntary activities are those actions that are initiated by our own willingness and they are like the reading, writing, walking, etc. And while the involuntary activities are those actions that happens without our consciousness or willingness and they are like the heartbeat, breathing, etc. As we have seen all these activities are controlled and coordinated by the nervous system, you could guess how important this nervous system is, isn't it? Well, now you will be thinking, what are these nerves made up of? Okay, these looks like electric wires and do we have wires in our body? No, of course they are not wires, they are cells and just like anything in our body, the nerve cells also made up of cells. If you are wondering, hey that doesn't look like a cell, then I would say you that they are also cells but are modified cells. They also have nucleus and everything but I agree that doesn't look similar to a normal cell because they are highly modified or specialized cells and these cells of nerve are called the neurons and these neurons are the fundamental unit of the nervous system. After all these talks, I know you guys are excited to learn about our hero, the neuron. But wait, is it a cell or a tree? They both look similar, isn't it? Well, as you can see, a tree have three parts like the crown, the trunk and the root. The neuron also have three parts and what are they? Well, the three parts of neuron are the cytone or the cell body, the axon and finally the axonide. As you can see, the tree have crown, the neuron have the cytone. As the trunk in the tree, the neuron have the axon and finally as the roots of the tree, the neuron is having Axonites. Now let us zoom into this neuron and study about this in detail. Firstly, starting with the cytone or the cell body. We know a typical cell have the nucleus and all cell organelles. And don't you think the neuron is also having these kind of structures? Well, the neuron is also having these kind of structures and the cytone contains the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi body, mitochondria and all other components. Now you could see certain branches are arriving from the cytone of the neuron, isn't it? And do they look similar to the main branches of a tree? Yeah sure it is similar. So these branch like projection that are coming out of the cytone of the neuron is called the dendron. And also, you could see this dendron is again splitted into sub branches, as if you could see main branches are again split into sub branches in a tree. Well, these projections or sub branches in the neuron is called the dendrites. Now, let me ask you something what is the function of this dendron and dendrites? Well, they receive messages from the edges and neurons and then transfer this message to the cytone of the neuron. Nextly, you could see a long tube-like structure in the neuron which is arising from the cytone and this structure is called the axon. These axon help in transmitting electric impulses from the cytone 
to its tip called the axonites. And what do you know about the axonites? Well, as you could see, these are the branch-like structures that are arising out of the axon and well, they receive electric impulses from the axon and then transfer it to the synaptic knob. Do you know what is synaptic knob? Yes, these are the knob-like structures which are seen at the tips of the axonites and these knobs release certain chemicals and that is called the neurotransmitters. Now we learn the general structure of the neuron and did we miss something in this? Well, you could see a covering over the axon, isn't it? And what is this sheath like covering on the axon called as? Well, that is the myelin sheath. As you could see, the bar covers the tree and it supports and protects it. Likewise, the myelin sheath also covers and protects the axon. <music>